I'm beginning to just not see properly. Is that normal? <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to today whatsoever. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a lie. I definitely am. This is going to be a lot of fun. I've spent the last couple of days editing my recent devlog for Arcane, so naturally I'm feeling a little bit behind on the engine programming side of things. But that's when I came up with this brilliant idea of a video. Programming non-stop for 24 hours. Without food and water. Wait, no, what? So I woke up around 8 o'clock, got my day started by cooking up a nice little breakfast. Ugh, love me some baked beans. After scuffing that bad boy down, I went to make myself a nice cup of coffee. Alright, who the fuck? Much better. After my coffee, I did a bit of ego boosting, I mean comment checking, and then started planning out what I was going to work on for the next 24 hours. Let's get going boys. So what I'm going to try to achieve today is getting the world loading and saving implemented into the game. So we've just got some dummy worlds here in the worlds folder and what this code should do is grab the worlds folder, loop over it and hopefully print out each of the file names. So as we can see over here, we've got test world and world1.json. Excellent. Celebratory cup of tea I reckon. So now that we have a way of finding the JSON world file on the player's computer, we've got to now be able to create one in the first place and actually write some data into it. Not sure why I didn't start off with this first, but uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. So I've been hard at work trying to get the world serialization down pat. Uh, it's mostly done, but all we really need to do now is the loading, so that shouldn't take too long. Probably another hour tops. Mm, what shall I eat? I don't even have anything to eat. Noodles. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit lazy, alright? So I had a little break for lunch, watched the sunset, went for a quick run, I hate exercise. then got straight back into work on the world of serialization. I just gave myself an absolute heart attack. <laughs> so every time I'd go to include the player as a save game object, the entire serialization system would just die. <laughs> but it turns out it wasn't the system itself, it was just me forgetting my own API, so... That's a relief. <laughs> So I have pretty much accomplished all of my initial goals. We are now successfully loading and saving the game through the world manager, which is pretty nice, pretty nifty. But I've noticed when actually exiting the world and calling the destructor on all of that world stuff, we have a lot of memory leaks and access violations going on. And before all of you absolute code ninjas in the comments start roasting me about not using smart pointers, I know they exist, don't worry. It's just, I believe that real programmers they should manage their own memory, is what an absolute dickhead would say. Personally, I just prefer raw dogging it with some raw pointers. There's something just so barbarically beautiful about it and error prone. <laughs> Does that mean that I now have close on a million memory leaks? I don't really know where I was going with that one, but um, it's time to plug some bitches. Okay, that sounds really bad. You look at that, it's dinner time. <laughs> We're going pretty strong. So after having some dinner, I sat back down and planned out what I was gonna work on for the next half of the day. There's a few major maintenance tasks that I've come across so far, but we've only got 12 hours left, so I settled on implementing some very basic chunk generation into the game. Oh hey, the sun's up.
I'm surprised I just completely haven't fallen asleep yet, but um, nonetheless, we are here. We are still going strong. This is like my seventh cup of coffee, by the way, so I think that's part of the reason. But it is seven o'clock in the morning. We've got about five hours left on this little 24-hour journey. Um, but in the next five hours, I reckon we're just going to do a bit of object tagging. So this is going to be pretty useful for debugging and just some very niche storage solutions. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to implement, and I'll see if I can get a good solution for that game. Going. After I have my coffee, of course. I had so much energy a second ago, and now it's just gone. You know what they say about apples? We made it to the 20 hour mark, we are in the last stretch. Three more hours to go. Okay, so I've gone and absolutely decimated the serialization system. <laughs> I figured it's time for a rework. I couldn't help myself. Uh, we're about halfway through doing it, but I just keep falling asleep. So I didn't quite finish off the refactoring of the serialization system, but we did put a pretty good dent in it, so I'm pretty proud of that. I left a nice little note for future Randy, just to make sure he doesn't look at all the errors and get really scared, but I think he should be able to solve that tomorrow. It sounds like a tomorrow problem. <laughs> That was violent. So it's been about four days or so since our 24 hour programming extravaganza. Hey, that's a pretty cool word. But I'm yet to pick up where I left off in the programming of the serialization system. I've just been editing this beautiful video for the past few days. I'm pretty proud of how it's turned out so far. I've taken my sweet ass time with it, so. Hopefully that shows through, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, so I got a pretty big announcement to make. About a week ago, I decided to start doing this whole thing full time. I've also just gone and created a Patreon, so if you want to see more videos like this and help me work towards creating my game, then I'd feel honored to have your support. The link for that will be down in the description. Anyways, that's enough groveling from me for one day. Expect to see some more juicy content coming your way very shortly. Thanks so, so much for watching. I've got a whole serialization system to put back together and Devlog 13 to make, so I'll see you fellas next week and I hope you have an excellent day. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna rip your arm. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Rip it, all right, rip it. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another Arcane Deadlock. Remember kids, always cut towards the body.